Hi guys, it's me, Kelly McCassie, and today we're going to be doing a try-on unboxing of Ipsy vs. Birchbox for March of 2018. So guys, I just got my Ipsy and Birchbox in the mail, and you guys have been requesting for me to do more try-on unboxings, so I figured I would do a try-on unboxing of both Ipsy and Birchbox this month and let you guys know what I thought of them. So I created this look using products from Ipsy and Birchbox and also some other things from my collection just to kind of try them out for you and see what I thought in the moment, do a little bit of first impressions of those items. But before we jump into the video, you guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel and you love makeup and beauty unboxings, make sure you subscribe by scrolling down and clicking that red subscribe button down below so that you get notified when all of my unboxing videos are posted. Without further ado, let's jump right in to this Ipsy vs. Birchbox try and unboxing for March of 2018. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my first ever try on unboxing with Birchbox and Ipsy. I got these both today, so I figured as long as I had them both at the same time, might as well throw them in the same video, right? Why not? Why not? So I've taken all of my makeup besides my brows off. So let's start and see what's in Birchbox. So the first thing I'm seeing here is a Real Chemistry Luminous 3 Minute Peel. The full size of this is $48. I believe I have gotten this before. It says it's a gentle acid-free peel to clean dry skin and give it a gorgeous glow. Massage and circular motions to exfoliate and then wash skin with a mild cleanser to remove. So we're just gonna go ahead and try this because why not? It kind of like balls up on your skin. That's supposed to be like the dead skin cells coming off. And I've had this before and I have really liked it. Let's do the other side of my face. Make sure I'm all even. Now I'm just gonna take one of my simple wipes and make sure I get all of that product off of my face. I do recommend like actually washing your face after using a product like this, but I just don't wanna go all the way to the bathroom, so I'm being lazy. So I really like the Real Chemistry 3 Minute Peel. Again, I've used it before and I've liked it, so definitely something that I would suggest. Cool thing to get in the box. The next thing I'm seeing in here is this Dr. Lip Miracle Lip Balm. It's for dry skin, luscious lips, and glossy bits. Not sure what they mean by that. It says the full size of this is $16.50. This multi-purpose natural formula works to rehydrate skin and lips, soothe sunburns, taint unruly brows, and nourish thirsty cuticles. So it's just a lip balm that I can use on my lips, basically. So we're gonna do that. You know, I really didn't think I would be that impressed with this lip balm, but it feels really, really moisturizing, but in a way that's not gonna come off of your lips easily, if that makes sense. It's just thick and moisturizing and nice. So I definitely like it. I do wish the size was a little bit bigger though. This is kind of a minuscule size. The next thing I'm seeing here is this Winky Lux Glazed Lip. It's in Coffee Glaze. It says the full size is worth $15. Inspired by donut frosting, this sheer rose gold gloss looks and smells just as sweet. Wear it alone or on top of a lip color for a multi-dimensional look. I'm not a huge fan of lip glosses. I just feel like they get super sticky on the lips, so I don't typically wear them. This is really pretty though. It's got a very subtle sheen to it. Like it's just got a little bit of rose gold metallic to it, but not a whole lot. It doesn't feel super sticky. My lips aren't sticking together when I talk or anything like that, so that's nice. And it smells like donuts. Like it legit smells like donuts. Um, which is interesting. It's like when I breathe in, I smell like toffee donut. That's a little bit of a weird sensation to be so strong. It kind of reminds me of like lip smackers, like how those were. It doesn't taste like anything though, so. But it is pretty. I don't know, I might actually use that, which is totally weird for me because I'm not normally a lip gloss person. The next thing I'm seeing in my birch box is this Y leave-in conditioner. It's a pretty decent size and I like leave-in conditioners for my hair so this is actually a good product for me to get. I'm definitely not upset to get a product like this in my box. So it says the full size of this is $26. I don't want to spray it directly on my hair because my 
I don't, it's not damp. I'm not like preparing to style it. So I'm gonna spray it a little bit on my hands and then use it like that. It smells really good. Like it smells like salon. <laughs> Is that weird? It smells like professional styling products. I like it. I, I mean, I can't attest for how well it works or anything yet, but it smells so good. I'm going to wear it just for the smell of it. Oh, I like that. And the last thing I see in my birch box is this Amica Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray. The full size is $25. For a boost of body and tousled texture, spritz this hair styling spray. See Buckthorn Berry ads. Shine while well, natural mineral zealot builds volume. Why is it matte if it adds shine? That's weird. Okay, so I'm just going to... I'm not sure about the combination of those two hair products together, but I do like Amika products and I'm excited to get to try this out more when I'm actually using it to style my hair. I mean, right now my hair is already styled, so it's hard to actually tell what it's doing, uh, but it does smell pretty decent. I like the smell of this leave-in conditioner more than I like the smell of this, which is weird because usually I love the smell of Amika hair products. And this doesn't smell bad, it's just this smells so good. That's everything in my box. I think it did pretty well. A couple bigger sample sizes. I know that this is really expensive, but this still feels like a really small sample size to me, and this one is pretty tiny too. So generally a really good box. I like the products in there. We didn't get very much makeup this time around. It was just a lip gloss, so we got really lucky here in that this lip gloss is not sticky, it's actually nice, and I, I enjoy it. I think Birchbox did a good job this month. So it's time to check out what we got in March's Ipsy for 2018. We got markers? I'm so confused! It says keep away from children. Keep markers away from children? What? I don't get it, I don't get it. Oh, okay! The bag is color book inspired, and you can color on your bag with the markers. That is actually a pretty fun idea. I don't love the color of markers that I, I got. I kind of wish I had like pink and purple or something like that. Um, that's Or blue. Blue is my favorite color. But uh, that's kind of cool. They gave you markers so that you could personalize your little bag here. That is pretty neat. I actually really like that idea. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing here is the Ico Lash Alert Mascara Wake Up and Go. I've never tried this before. This is a new product for me. Actually, should we see if there's anything else in here? Because I usually like to do my mascara last. Okay, the next thing I'm seeing here is this Nip and Fab Exfoliate Glycolic Scrub Fix. It says it's a 3-in-1 micro exfoliant with glycolic silic acid, salicylic cel 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 acid. <laughs> I can't say words to it, you guys. Yikes to refine, brighten, and renew. So because I already exfoliated, I'm not gonna exfoliate again, um, but this is a good size. There's definitely a good chunk of product in there, and I'm excited to use this. I do like facial scrubs and peels and things like that, so that should actually be good. I'm just not gonna use it right now. The next thing I have in here is this Ahava Time to Clear Purifying Mud Mask. You know, why not? Let's use the mud mask. I just don't want to exfoliate twice. So let's go ahead and try on some mud mask, you guys. So I'm blinded on my forehead, my nose, and my chin because those are the areas where I get the most oily. And that's what clay masks are good for. So yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. So far the mask is feeling really nice and cooling on my face, so that's a good thing. Let's see what else we got here. Next thing I'm seeing in here is a little eyeshadow brush. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation in the color Porcelain. That's the foundation I'm gonna use later, and I'm just gonna take a little bit on my hand so that I can apply that to my eye as a primer. I actually think we're gonna go ahead and take off this mask now because I think it's just about dry. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation to my entire face now that I have that mask off. And this is just a little Bobbi Brown skin foundation. Okay, and now finally we're gonna jump into the eyes. I'm gonna use my blending brush and go into the color 
Summer Yum in my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I'm just gonna dust that in my crease. And now I'm gonna take this brush that I got in my Ipsy. It's called a Scone Large Shadow Brush. And I'm going to dip in to the color Georgia right there and apply that all over my lid. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this shimmery purple shade Peach Pit right here and apply that right on the outer edge. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this luscious shade right there and apply that right on the inner corner. Now I'm going back in with my fluffy brush and just kind of blending out the edges. And then I think I'll just take a little bit of candied peach right here and apply that under my lower lash line with the tip of this brush. So, so far I like how this brush applied and it's definitely not the best flat shader brush I've ever had. It's kind of a little bit stiffer than a, a brush like this usually is. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is that I'm not loving about it, but I just feel like it's not applying the shadows as well as some of my other flat shader brushes that I have in my collection. But it is always really nice to get a brush. It's a full-size item, and basically when you get a full-size brush in the FC, it pays for most of the bag. So that's a good thing to be able to get. And I also see in here this Tarte Sex Kitten Eyeliner, and this is just a little eyeliner sample. So it looks like a little coal liner. Definitely be something that's cool to get to try out. It's not a huge sample, but it's definitely enough to get me through a couple tries so that I can know whether or not I like the product. So far, it doesn't work super well for the upper lash line. It just skips around a little bit and it's not looking super black on the upper lash line. It seems like it's pretty good for the waterline. It does look pretty black when it's in there. Um, so, so far I like it, but I would really only buy this for a waterline liner. I don't think I would buy it for an upper lash line liner. So definitely something that's fun to try out, but maybe not something I would have purchased. So now I have the Ico Lash Alert Mascara Wake Up and Go. It's just this little sample of Ico Mascara. I do typically like their mascaras, so I'm cool with it. I'm glad I got this sample. I think it'll be really good. Let's go ahead and curl my lashes and then we'll try out this mascara. Okay, so this brush is a little weird. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like bent to one side. Kind of curved a little bit. I think that's a really nice looking mascara. It's super black. It coated all my lashes nice and evenly. It doesn't look super clumpy, but there it definitely is like lifting up my lashes and making them look super full. I don't know, I like it. I like this mascara a lot. I really feel like the brush is grabbing all of my eyelashes as well. I'm really liking that mascara. That might be something I have to buy the full size of. I think it looks really good. So guys, that's it for Ipsy. I think Ipsy did a pretty decent job. I've definitely had better bags of Ipsy before. Definitely got more value out of Ipsy before. So you guys, pause the video. Let me know down below who you think won this month. Was it Ipsy? Was it Birchbox? Let me know in the comments down below and then come right back and I'll let you know what I think. So guys, I think it was a pretty tight race between Ipsy and Birchbox this month. I feel like that's because Birchbox did pretty well and Ipsy did not so great. It wasn't that Ipsy was bad or anything, I just feel like it wasn't quite as good as we've gotten in a couple past months. And the sizes of things in Ipsy were nothing to write home about. I mean, we did get a full-size brush, so that's something, but the eyeliner, tiny. The mascara, pretty small. These were good sizes, but they were the skincare items, so that is not as impressive to me. Out of Birchbox, you know, it's a pretty similar thing. We got two bigger sizes, just like we did in Ipsy. We got a lip scrub, a lip gloss, and this mask. <sighs> So when it comes down between the two, I think I'm going to have to go with Ipsy just because we did get the full-size brush. 
but Ipsy and Birchbox were so neck and neck this month. I don't think that they've ever been this close before and that really surprises me. I didn't expect that to happen. I think Ipsy won, but you know, just buy a hair. So you guys let me know what your favorite product from this month's Ipsy versus Birchbox. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video and you want me to do more try-on unboxings, make sure you smash that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so by scrolling down and clicking that red subscribe button down below. That's pretty much it. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!